Hello champions and future champions, hello chess mod family, GM Gabuzian is here with you and we are starting our daily lesson. This position that you are seeing is from a famous game, Spassky Boris as white is playing against Fischer Robert. And in this endgame position, Robert Fischer takes the decision. It's black to move, bishop on d6 is attacking pawn on h2. Here, black decided to take, and what's the topic of today, that sometimes capturing these pawns is very very dangerous. In order to make this, you need to be very careful about it. In this game, after bishop h2, Spassky played g3, and now Fischer has the idea how to release this bishop. Whether it works or not, this is a question. Before going further to explanations, I will offer you to pause the video and try to figure out on your own what's the outcome of this position. Is black to move and are we gonna be on time to save this pawn or not? Now white has the following idea. They want to play king e2, king f3, king g2 and this bishop will be trapped. If here black tries to prevent this maneuver playing g5 move, and after king e2 going g4, it's only covering the square on f3, but white also can go through f1. This means that only way is to release this bishop, destructing the pawn on g3 square. Black played in the game h5 move, and after king e2, h4. Now, if white decides to take, even though white's winning back the pawn, they are getting a bad pawn structure. This is a pawn island, separated from others. Meanwhile, black's keeping the healthy pawn chain. Now, black can play bishop to d6 and with our king we'll be pressuring on opponent's weakness on h4. But after h4, Spassky finds king f3. Now if black takes, white will take back and king g2 is still trapping the bishop. That's the reason, after king f3 move, black cannot take. Fischer before going for bishop h2, had this variation in the might, the h3 move. This didn't happen in the game because later on turned out that this was a blunder. At this moment, white cannot go king to g2. And if white tries to go king to g4 square, h2 will be promoting. That's why Fischer thought that after playing h3, everything is gonna be fine. And as well he thought, if now white goes, king to g4, black has bishop g1, we are threatening h2, and at the same time, pawn on f2 is under attack. King takes, and bishop f2. Later on Fischer was planning to play bishop e1, release this bishop, and staying with an extra pawn, and great position. Out of a sudden, even at this moment, white has bishop d2, and our bishop is locked here and it cannot escape. Now it's blocked, all of the moves are not possible. Bishop g1 or bishop f2 doesn't matter, white goes king to g2, this piece will be trapped. That is the reason after king f3 in the game, Fischer realized that h3 is not an option, tried to play king e7, but after moves king g2, pawn takes, f takes g3, he captured on g3, and now with king g3, white staying with an extra piece versus two pawns. Even though in this end game, black had some little chances to survive, since now there are two pawns versus the bishop, but at the end Fischer lost. Now let's go back to the beginning position again. We have seen how here, in absolutely equal end game, Fischer takes decision to capture this dangerous pawn. Seeing these moves with the bishop is an important skill. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's a decision which requires a lot of responsibility, super critical moment, and a mistake can leave you without a piece, which exactly happened in the game of super strong Bobby Fischer. Black lost. And for future, when you're having this kind of options, you can try to check it out, but my biggest recommendation, Try to make sure you are not blundering any tricky ideas, because when your bishop is locked behind the pawns, opponent might have a lot of unexpected resources. Now, let's go ahead and you will get your homework position for this topic. In this end game, 
is black to move now and the move happened is knight c5. Bishop on d3 is under attack and there is an option to capture on h7. My question to you, how will you continue here for white? You can share your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. GM Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes and sharing these videos with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.